Hi, this is Adam Gibson here for another DecoPlate template tutorial. Today we will be using both raster and vector artwork to create a design for a 10 inch dinner plate in Adobe Illustrator. Down on the bottom right, we can see the same three layers that our dinnerware templates consist of. The bottom layer is the template boundaries, the middle layer is the instructions, and the top layer is a white mask that must be applied before submission. Okay, the instructions begin by telling us not to change the artboard dimensions or color space. Then create your design over both the green and red zones, but continue only the background design into the red bleed zone. If you're incorporating borders, logos, or important text, they must be at least a half an inch away from the edge of the green zone, which also represents the edge of the plate. It then says to crop any part of your graphic that exceeds the artboard. That means don't use a clipping mask to shrink down large graphics. Next, it tells us to turn off the template and instruction layers, then turn on the white mask layer. This step can be broken up and done at any point during the process. However, the white mask must be turned on and reside on top of the other artwork. Finally, it tells us to save the editable file in case modifications are needed, but to export the production file as a 10.6 by 10.6 inch JPEG image at 300 pixels per inch, or 3180 by 3180 pixels. Now I can begin building the graphic. I'm going to be using these three design elements to create a plate that looks like this. So I will select all the design elements, copy them, and I'm going to paste them into the template layer. Now that I have my design elements on the page, I'm going to turn off the instructions, turn on the white mask, and that way all of my design elements are underneath the white mask. At this point, I'd like to incorporate a floating white border around the plate. The instructions tell us to keep the border at least a half an inch away from the edge of the green zone, which in this case is a 10.2 inch diameter circle. Now since we're working with both sides of the plate, we must subtract a half an inch from both sides and create a border with a 9.2 inch outer diameter. To do this, I will use the ellipse tool, create a 9.2 inch circle, give it the white stroke, increase the stroke, and then come over here to our stroke tab and align the stroke to the inside. This ensures that the diameter of the outside of this circle is 9.2 inches. Now that I have all the design elements on the template, I'd like to center everything together. This is very easy when everything is selected by using the vertical and horizontal align center tools. Now that everything is centered, we need to align the artwork to the artboard. With everything selected, we can zoom into a corner and manually align it. Now that I'm happy with the artwork, I'm going to save an editable file for my internal use. And now I can export the JPEG file for production. all done. Thanks for watching.